皆さんこんにちは。Hello, I'm your host, Dodd Perry, and this is Let's Talk Hawaii, live from Honolulu. This is a program about pronunciation, communication, and interesting things in Hawaii. You can see me here every other week at 3 p.m. Today's topic is Reading English is bad for your pronunciation. Yes, I'll repeat that. Reading English is bad for your pronunciation. それは不思議なコメントなんですけど、It's true. Over my 30 year career teaching pronunciation, I've discovered many odd things about pronunciation and trying to improve my students' ability. And one of the things I've noticed is that when students are reading English, it is basically, actually, my students from Japan, when they are reading English, it is basically like reading their mother language or katakana English. So, as a result, their pronunciation sounds like their original language. Basically, It's kind of like saying, you've seen the color red and you've always said red, but when you come to America, you have to call it yellow. And that's very strange, but in America, it's called yellow. In Japan, it's called red. Basically, the sounds are different. And to suddenly have to speak yellow when you see red, it's a little bit confusing. It took me many years to figure this out, but what I found was that if you rewrite the words based on sound, you have a better chance of speaking clearly. Now, the problem is not being able to speak the same thing over and over and over. You're not able to get the repetition. Repetition is what helps people improve their natural speaking ability. So, if you're always making small mistakes as you're speaking, you're really not improving. So, having a method to continually say the proper sound allows you to improve by repetition. ちょっと日本の説明しますあのやっぱり、えーいつも、えー、カタカナ英語と、えー、アメリカン英語をミックスするとコンシステントじゃないから上達できないプラスマイナスゼロになりますねだから毎回、えー、正しい正しい正しく英語できたらあの becomes a habit 新しい癖ができます今までは1回目正しい2回目間違い3回目それが正しいそれが間違ってるで4回目は半分 OK。そしたら上達できないね。Always you're a little bit confused. So, I've developed a way to help my students improve naturally. だから私が長い間なんか頑張りましたけど、やっぱり最後にこのテクニックができました。これは、uh, helps my students to improve over time. Now, Today, I have a special guest.、Um, her name is Yu Nakamura, and she's going to visit us live from Tokyo, Japan. Yu is a businesswoman in Tokyo, Japan, working for an international company. And Yu needs to use English for work on a regular basis. She has taken my private lessons years ago, but wants to improve her speaking. ユーさんは日本,の日本にいるのビジネスウォーマンなんですけど、彼女は国際ビジネスやってます。で、毎日よく英語を使わなきゃいけない。で、ずっと前は彼女は僕の生徒なんでしたけど、えー、今、中したいんです。She wants to review and improve. And today, I'm going to explain how she can speak new words and new concepts better. So, without any more Waiting, I would like to introduce Yu Nakamura. Hi, Yu, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing fine, and thanks for joining us on Think Tank Think Tech Hawaii. 
and uh, your first time on my show, so I'd like to welcome you. How is the weather in Japan right now? あとは冷めですね。暑くなってきていて、あとは昼目ですね。暑くなりましたですよね。はい。そう。And、uh, I mean, in, in, in Fahrenheit, I think that translates to close to 80 something. That's pretty hot. So, how do you stay warm? How do you, I mean, how do you stay cool when it's so warm? Stay inside? So, this is an unsage country or sakitari. So, I know you, um, you were living in America at one time. Uh, when yes. was that? 10年以上前になりますね。あ、随分前ですよね。あの、そうですね。何のために来ましたか? I know you were my student, but I never got to ask you these kinds of questions. Well, you said that, but you didn't ask me a question. I didn't have a chance to ask you. Where were you? In New York, California, Texas? What was the time? When I was in ESL, I went to California. And then I transferred to Wisconsin. When you came, what was most difficult for you? でも一番大変だったのは何でしょう自分の頭で構築した英語を自分の言葉で話すっていうことが覚えたフレーズじゃなくて自分で考えた言葉を自分の言葉にして英語で話すっていうことが一番難しかったなと思います。So figuring out what English to use. So 来る前にはどういうふうに英語を勉強しましたか? 来る前、日本にいた時っていうことですよね? アメリカ来る前に日本の時にどうやって英語を勉強しましたか? えっと、多分典型的な日本人の英語学習だと思うんですけれども、私の場合は文法はやっぱり覚えないとできないところもあったので、あの、文法をきちんとやることと、あとは私は音読が好きだったんですね。なので、教科書を声に出、音読教科書
日本に帰ってきてからはずっと貿易関係の仕事をしていて、今もう輸出や輸入に関するあの国際ビジネスの仕事をさせていただいています。じゃあ貿易でなんかいつも他の国と電話とかそういう話するんでしょうね。はい。So your pronunciation now is 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 much better、um, when I first met you. We studied a lot. <laughs>、um, but、um, what are your plans for the future? What are your imano plan to k o r e k a r a no yote wa nan de shoka? Ego ni kan shite desu ka? So desu ne. Ego ni kan shite wa, so desu ne, ano, yapari, jibun la shisa wo da se ru ego wo hana se ru yoni nari tai to. 思います誰かが言った言葉を真似するとか覚えた言葉を言うではなくて自分の思いや意見をきちんと自分らしく伝えられるような英語を話せるようになりたいと思っていますなるほど、so, um, 間違いないと思いますけど、えー、やっぱり英語できるからそのインターナショナルの仕事ができますですよねそうだまあそうなんか<笑>英語できなかったら if you couldn't speak you probably couldn't do your job is that correct? I think so. Right now, what is the most challenging part? So, my yori, kakse no toki kara, you've improved a lot. What's, what's challenging now? Ima nane ga ichiba muzukashi toro desu ka? Hai. Ichiba muzukashi no wa, sono, aru teedo communication ga tore ryo ni natta ri, toka, ma, jibun no ikken wo iye ryo ni natta ri, aru ya ma, hatsu on ni kan shite mo, tsta waru level ni natta ri. た後にそれよりもさらにアドバンスなレベルになっていくっていう部分がすごく難しいなって思います。始めたばっかりの頃はインターミディエットまではいけるんですけど、そこから上のレベルアップがあの壁が高いなと感じています。うん、I see. Okay, well that's that's good. Now today I want to talk to you about A new way to、um, master English or at least one part of English. Are you ready for that? Yes. Okay. So we're, we're going to be coming up on a break, but not yet. But at that time, we're going to take a short break. Then I'm going to come back and go over some of these points for you, okay? So before we begin, do you have a pen and a piece of paper to write with? Yes. Okay, great. Now, This is a strange concept.、Um, when I told you the concept, what did you think? Speaking English is bad for your pronunciation. So, 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 reading English is bad for your pronunciation. So, 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 したようにそういう勉強だったのでちょっとドキドキしています。I see. So, yeah, a lot of people in Japan, they, they hear the English and then they copy it or they read it. But as I was saying before,、um, when you are looking at the written English words, it's basically you are. Reading your own country's language, katakana ego. So it's just been taught to you that way. So if you also at the kara, hard to break the habit. So changing the look is a, an easier way to master English. Now, so I'm going to show you a couple examples of some strange words. And well, they're not they're regular words, but they will look strange. And at this point, we're going to take a short break and we'll be right back right after this. Aloha, I'm Jane Sugimura, host here at Think Tech Hawaii, a digital media company serving the people of Hawaii. We provide a video platform for citizen journalists to raise public awareness in Hawaii. We are a Hawaii nonprofit that depends on the generosity of its supporters to keep on going. We'd be grateful if you go to thinktechhawaii.com and make a donation to support us now. Thank you so much. 
Aloha, I'm Gwen Harris, the host here at Think Tech Hawaii, a digital media company serving the people of Hawaii. We provide a video platform for citizen journalists to raise public awareness in Hawaii. We are a Hawaii nonprofit that depends on the generosity of the supporters to keep on going. We'd be grateful if you go to thinktechhawaii.com and make a donation to support us now. Thanks so much. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hawaii. I'm here again with Yu Nakamura, live from Japan, and I am live from Honolulu. So we're back, and I'm going to start teaching a little bit about this strange concept of not reading American English or to improve your pronunciation. Now, not reading, yori, uh, not reading the dictionary version of English. Now, the dictionary version of English is the way it is written, the way it is grammatically put on paper, but it only sounds a certain way for American people. British people say everything differently. Irish people say it all differently. Japanese people learn it and say it differently. So in order to copy another country's style, it's helpful to rewrite it so that you can say the sounds of English. So right now I'm going to put up a sample of some couple words. As you can see, on the far right, we have dog, fish, and breakfast. Now, these are very simple words, but they're actually a little bit challenging for Japanese students. Now, on the left side, we have Nihon no style. It is spoken like dogu. So, when the teacher in junior high stood in front of the board, they wrote D O G on the board. That's the same thing that my teacher wrote on the board. But, when my teacher spoke the words, they said dog, dog. In Japan, the teacher most likely said doku, doku. So the vowels are different, the, the parts are different. It's just a different word, basically. Doku, dog. They're very different. Now, if you are an American person and you want to copy Japanese sound, it's not so easy to look at D-O-G and say doku. It's much easier to look at D-O-G-U and say doku. Now, in the middle column, we have a better way for writing that word, dog, which is helpful to a Japanese person. Now, it's not the only way, and often, I will have to rewrite it based on the, the, the person's style. So someone might want to say dag, I would change it, or dog, I would change it again. So I would rewrite it until they said dog. Whatever those letters were, those were the letters I keep. A A H G G でもいいし、ポイントは D O G じゃない。なぜかっていうのは O が問題です。D O、ど、ど、ど。日本語英語はど。You san, can you say Japanese English and the American English version? I'm going to keep this. I'm going to keep this on the screen, and you can keep talking. どうぞ。ロック。ピッシュ。No no no. American 英語。Dog, dog. 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 Very good. So, as, as you can see, it's very difficult to say dog when you see D A H G. And if you can read that sentence like my dog, that dog, you're always going to get it right. And that Tadashi repeating the Tadashi sound will help you create a new habit. So when you see the dictionary word, 
your brain can think of two sounds. Nihongo no to, toku. It's not incorrect, it's just Japanese. Versus the American sound, dog. Okay, let's look at the next one. Nihongo ego de wa e fishu. Fishu. If I want to teach an American junior high school kid how to say Japanese English sound of fish, I would write F U E E S H U. Fishu. Can you repeat that for me, Yusan? Japanese version. Yes, Japanese version. Fishu. Okay, fishu, ne? The American version, wa? Fish. Good. So as you can see, the middle, uh, fish. The problem is letter I. That's a very big problem for a Nihon no speaker. I moji ga okki na mondai desu yo. De, fish ga, I moji ga miru to, i shika yuanai Nihon dewa. Dakara, e tiyu no oto ga nai n desu. Dakara, sore wa oboe na keke nai no. I moji ga 90% ぐらいが e. I is most of the time it is e, not the e sound. ING, it will be E, but usually it is E. Ink, I-N-K, ink, that's an E. でもほとんどは E. ってことは fish, fish. Now, if you rewrite the word F-E-S, F-E-H, fe, and then sh, you can easily not make the common mistake. Now, another big problem is the word asagohan. Ego de yuto, breakfast. Breakfast. Nihongo no i kata wa, breakfast. Desu yo ne? Yusan, can you say that one? Breakfast. So, fast desu yo ne? Fast. That's the way it looks on paper. Yep, buddy, if I'm not American, I look at that word, I'm going to say, Break fast because that's what it looks like. But we say breakfast. So break, manakahan ni mirino, break, ten fist. Now the ten, you know, I put the period there to make people see it's two things. It's not one, it's two things together. So break fist. So it sounds a little more clear. More clear this one. So, dog, fish, breakfast. Yusan, can you say those for me? In dog. Dog. Dog, fish, breakfast. Very good. Now, that's basically a sample of what these words look like. I'm going to go to another slide and we're going to see. Practical use, like a no bunshou o mi ena masu, sugi no slide de. Okay, we're going to go to a slide number one. Yes, good. This fish is very big. My cat is sleep because it should be it's. It's hot. My cat is sleep because it's hot. And my cousin's wedding was in October. Yusan, that says it, but it should say it. Can you put the S there for me? Now, could you read those three sentences for me? This fish is very big. Tadashi, very good, correct. Next one. My cat is sleep because it's hot. Good. The it's. My, okay. It's hot. My cousin's wedding was in October. Very good. Now, these are very basic English sentences, but it is very, these are challenging words for Japanese students. Nazuka mm -hmm. wa, the vowels. So, of course, there's other smaller problem areas such as EH and V, mouth movements, and so on. But, emoji. This fish is very big. This fish is very big. That's how people were taught, and it's hard to break that sound habit. So, rewriting it will help everyone improve that sound. My cat is sleep 
because it's hot. My cat is asleep because it's hot. が normal 言い方。My cousin's wedding was in October. Now, those are the way you learned, and it's hard to change the sound when you can see only the dictionary version. So,、yeah. let's. How's my Japanese English? Pretty good? <laughs> yes. Okay. We're going to go to the correction slide, and I'm going to review that. Okay, now as you can see, everything has changed. Well, the important things have changed. The problem areas. 問題のところが変わりました。例えば、F、I、S、H より、E、H、A、S、F、S。で、is の問題、I、S が is 日本語英語では。なんですけど、is、these 書くとわかりやすい。is。それから、very。じゃなくて B じゃないから、大きな V、大きな V 文字書くと、なんか、easier to help you see the V and not say B。Very。大文字 is always going to be something to focus on。大文字書いてあったら、フォーカスしなきゃいけない。なぜかっていうのは、それは危ない、あるいは dangerous sound。で、big。big、big、big。どうしても皆さんが big が言いたいんで、B、E、H、G 書くと、Easy to see that. And the last, or the middle sentence, my cat, cat is sleep because. Because じゃなくて B and cause. の方が because easier to understand. It's e h. It's じゃなくて it's. Hot じゃなくて hot. So, 日本人が O が見るとを言うんですよ。でも実は、あ、はーっ。Can you read the first two sentences again, please?The fish is very big.My cat is sleep because it's hot.Great. And the last one I'm going to read.My cousin's wedding was in October. 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 So, this is just a little bit, but I think it's very helpful. And I've used this technique to help many people become surprisingly good, just like yourself. And we're going to wrap up today. And I want to thank everybody for watching. And again, I, like I said, you can see me every other week here on Think Tech Hawaii. And this is Let's Talk Hawaii. Thank you again for your time. See you next time.